Senator from South Dakota. I sent a question to the desk on behalf of myself and Senators Moran, Danes, Ernst, Scott of Florida, and Crapo. Thank you. Senator Thune and the other senators ask the counsel for the president. On March 6, 2019, Speaker Nancy Pelosi said, quote, impeachment is so divisive to the country that unless there's something so compelling and overwhelming and bipartisan, I don't think we should go down that path because it divides the country, end quote. Alexander Hamilton also warned in Federalist 65 against the, quote, persecution of an intemperate or designing majority in the House of Representatives with respect to impeachment. In evaluating the case against the President, should the Senate take into account the partisan nature of the impeachment proceedings in the House? Thank you, Mr. Chief Justice, members of the Senate. Absolutely, you should take that into account. That's dispositive. That should end it. Based on the statements that we heard the last time from our friends on the Democratic side, that's a reason why you shouldn't have an impeachment. Speaker Pelosi was right when she said that. Unfortunately, she didn't follow her own advice. We've never been in a situation where we have the impeachment of a president in an election year with the goal of removing the president from the ballot. As I've said before, that is the most massive election interference we've ever witnessed. It's domestic election interference. It's political election, election interference, and it's wrong. They don't talk about the horrible consequences to our country of doing that, but they would be terrible. They would tear us apart for generations, and the American people wouldn't accept it. Let me address in that context the importance of the vote for their inquiry, which also had bipartisan opposition. Now they said, well, we were fine when, we, when Speaker Pelosi announced it. We didn't need a vote. The subpoenas were authorized. Then why did they have a vote? They had a vote because they understood they had a big problem that they needed to fix. But what's more important about the vote than the procedural issue? The important thing about the vote is that if you're going to start an impeachment investigation, particularly on, in an election year, there needs to be political accountability to the American people. You can't just go have a press conference. If you're going to say that the votes of the American people need to be disallowed, that all of the ballots need to be torn up, then at the very least, you need to be accountable to your home district for that decision. And now they are. And now they are. And if the American people decide, if they're allowed to vote, if the American people decide that they don't like what's happened here, that they don't like the constitutional violations that have happened, that they don't like the attack on a successful president for purely partisan political purposes, then they can do something about it and they can throw them out. That's why a vote's important. But we should never even consider removing the name of a president from the ballot on a purely partisan basis in an election year. Important? I'll say it's important for that reason alone and for the interest of uniting our country, it must be rejected. Thank you, Mr. Chief Justice. 